Absolutely win free. Chef Blossom, you're great too. But um, fantastic stuff this morning. Hey, so today we have with us a very, very interesting guest. We have multiple award-winning creative film uh, maker, actor, writer, and also publisher Okechiku Ojiofor in the studio here with us. He's more known for the groundbreaking 1992 Nollywood movie Living in Bondage and Neka the Pretty Serpent. So when you hear movies like that, of course you know who to expect. He has a, has a long, long, long question. You're very... I mean, he's been in the business for a very long time. He's worked on several television soap operas and also um, plenty of series as well. You are welcome. So good to have you here, Mr. Okechukwe Jofo. It's fantastic to be in your presence now. You are a part of my childhood. You scared me with Neck at a Pretty Serpent. You gave us something to also think about with Living in Bondage. And we're going to talk about your current project um, even right now. But welcome, first of all. Good to, see, uh, to have you here. Good morning. Thank morning, you for sir. having me. First of, how can you be so talented? Let me start. <laughs> because <laughs> I... it's one thing to make movies. It's another thing to make movies that resonate through the ages. Movies that people want to make remakes of. How do you do that? Well, I must thank God. Uh, you know, creativity is from God. Mm. Um, it's given. It's not, I, I'm not sure people go to school to learn how to be creative. But God himself is a creative person. Yes, and the, the Bible tells us that he created all of us in his, his own image and after his own likeness, meaning that he wants us to be exactly like him. True. And the first attribute of God being creativity, it's what all of us should have. And yeah. I, I'm, I am thanking him that I'm blessed to be true. a creative person. Very true. Now, you're an actor yourself. Yes, I do. But I think it's the, the bigger part of you is the fact that you're able to put together these epic movies. Um, how does it weigh for you? Which one are you the most? Are you an actor or are you a producer or a director? Which, which comes first? I, I think I'm a storyteller. Storyteller. Uh, whether I am acting or writing or publishing books or creating stories, all I do is um, write. But do so, people know that this is the man behind those big stories? And they don't... They don't know, uh, and how does that they, make they you don't feel? Know <laughs> because I, I think the reason is because I am a very private person. Uh -huh. I, I am seldom celebrated, uh -huh. I, and I don't seek for my own. I don't run around looking for relevance. Um, I believe that God, in his own time, will make all things beautiful, and, and, and you know that's what? why I'm here. I'm going to get you a T-shirt that says, I produced living in bondage and neck at a pretty serpent. That's what I'm <laughs> going to do for you, because people have to know this gentleman here. Thank but you. apart from that, there are also very, very big projects that you're doing, which we're going to talk about. But first, let's check out a video here of Mr. one of Mr. Joffa's works. Oh, and when Joffa. we get back, we're going to be talking about that new project, which is anim I mean, Amina. the movie. Which is fantastic, it's big. We'll be right back. Check this out, some of his efforts. Fornication. <laughs> Way back, 1995. That was Brotherhood of Darkness. Yes. Why is it that most of your movies seem to have that dark theme? Because um, life is dark itself. Mm. And then, um, except you're in the light, you, you will continue to remain in the darkness. But what we do as people in the light is to expose this darkness mm. everywhere we can find it. So, um, you know, there's a way that. Uh, bad news sells. So when you give your title, uh, certain titles to a movie, it attracts attention and people want to gravitate towards it mm -hmm. to see. Okay. And then in coming to it, you reveal what you want to reveal. Nice, interesting. Now I can't wait. I actually can't wait. I'm sure Mike as well can't wait to actually see this one. Your latest project, which is Amina the movie. First of all, I know that it didn't start yesterday. You told me that this movie has been what, six years in the making? No, 25 years yeah. in the making. Tell us about that. Okay, fine. And in, 2000, in 1996, um, the then First Lady, Mariam Abacha, returned from Beijing Conference in China. And then um, the, the, the presidency published a document in the public domain, and were, they were asking for a film and a book in order to drive affirmative attention towards the girl child and women empowerment. So I wrote them a proposal and uh, sought to see them. And mm. uh, my proposal was on the Queen Amina because I think that she is one of the greatest uh, w a woman who has ever ruled on the continent of mm. Africa. So I wrote to them and they invited me to come over. And then we met and they said to me, Amina is a very controversial figure. Mm. And so you, for you to make a film out of her, you have to bring a research that mm -hmm. harmonizes all the aspects of uh, mm -hmm. all the disparities about her life and, and times. So, but they were not going to give me any money. We're seeing visuals of it now, and I'm sure that this is no small fit. This must have taken plenty of years to put together. You said you started shooting in uh, 2015. 2015 and ended 
2016, then post production began, and then up to 2019. Mm -hmm. And today we have a film that wow. is on Netflix. Wow. Okay, let's let's uh, see the down my back. Seriously, how did you get such epic texture? That feel. What? what I that, don't know that, how to explain it. That's why it took some time. It took time. It took money. Were there that many horses and people? Yes, we oh, had wow. um, it, we had um, over a thousand soldiers, and then um, we housed them for about six months. Wow! In Jaws, we trained them. These are who is bankrolling you? Um, <laughs> that's why this story has taken quite a long time. I didn't have all the resources I didn't need since uh, um, 25 years ago when I wanted to make the film. Um, so I kept waiting for money. And uh, no, every door I knocked closed mm -hmm. until recently the Bank of Industry nice. um, opened their doors and said they wanted to uh, give loans to people. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, they gave us quite some, some money. But You've it's also not, got it wasn't some enough. very interesting actors in there as well. Yeah. Very, very talented Nigerian actors. And it is no small fit to put together something of that magnitude, Mr. Okilgun. Training. You are a fantastic filmmaker. <laughs> Your works will always continue to resonate throughout the ages. I am so, so privileged to be the one who's actually sitting down here talking to you about this movie. And I can't wait to see I'm another movie. In fact, I'm doing that right after the show today. Thank it's you. on Netflix, by the way. And by the way, we know that. That's very that's that's big money. Is your Benz outside? Oh well, there's no Benz parked outside, but um, uh, it's it's, a, it's, a, it's it's about a choice. Um, I can as well park as much as uh, many vehicles I want outside. But, but that's not my priority. It's okay. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Up Nigeria. Thank you for having me. We are definitely all going to see the movie, and I also hope that everybody out there actually sees it as well. If you can this weekend, because it's a fantastic movie, as you can see already, Thank it's you. going to be epic. Thank you once again. Do stay tuned. It's still Wake Up Nigeria here, and we'll be right back.